I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media. Southstar Battery Metals, a Canadian battery metals project developer, focused on the selective acquisition and development of near-term production projects in the Americas, agrees to key terms of a proposed earn-in to the Ceylon Graphite project in Alabama. The project, which covers approximately 500 acres in Coosa County, Alabama, is located on the northeast end of the Alabama Graphite Belt. The agreement with Hexagon Energy Materials and U.S. Critical Minerals, a U.S. privately held exploration company, will allow South Star to earn in up to 75% of the project, subject to execution of the final terms of a formal agreement and the customary closing conditions included TSX Venture Exchange approval. Hexagon currently owns 80% of the project with U.S. Critical Minerals and a small group of individuals owning the remaining 20%. The project, a historic mine active during World Wars I and II, targeted friable outcropping graphite mineralization, which averaged approximately 3 to 5 percent graphite carbon. The surface mineralization, contained in graphite host rock, was mined historically with shovels and excavators without the need for drilling and blasting. A comprehensive preliminary exploration program and bench scale process have been completed by Hexagon. 29 trenches totaling 2,769 linear meters were dug to a maximum depth of approximately 2 meters, with 765 samples analyzed. 100 tons of bulk ore samples were collected with 10 representative samples tested at Gurkho Laboratory in Guangzhou, China. The testing indicated a traditional crush grind flotation concentration circuit achieved grades of approximately 96 to 97 percent, with approximately 86 percent recoveries. Richard Pierce, South Star's CEO, stated, This is another important step towards creating a multi-asset diversified battery metals company. We are potentially bringing on the next project in the pipeline in another important jurisdiction for the sector. The geology and processing flow sheets are very similar to our Brazil graphite asset, and we believe we can leverage our commercial relationships and technical experience to scale the project into near-term production. The infrastructure is excellent with access, energy, and the mobile port facility nearby. The southeast corridor of the U.S. is transforming itself into an electric vehicle hub, and the project in Coosa County is right in the middle of the action. The project is on private land, and we believe the permitting and licensing efforts should be fairly straightforward. I am very excited to be working with our partners on moving this project forward in the coming years. Merrill Gray, Hexagon's managing director, added, South Star is an experienced graphite project developer and operator with significant technical resources and the ambition to move this expertise into North America. This earning deal could accelerate the Ceylon Graphite's project development, unlocking value for Hexagon and allowing the company to focus on the progression of our core Australian projects in hydrogen and nickel, growing our energy materials portfolio beyond Ceylon Graphite. Under the terms of the agreement, South Star will complete drilling, resource estimation and analysis needed to produce an NI-43101 compliant preliminary economic assessment within three years of signing the final agreements, which is expected to be completed during November. South Star must fund an annual minimum expenditure of $250,000 Canadian to a total minimum expenditure of $750,000 Canadian during the earn-in period. For a period of six months following the exercise of the 75% earning option, assuming South Star exercises its option, the vendors individually have the right, but not the obligation, to sell their remaining 25% interest for $250,000 Canadian in South Star shares. For additional terms of the agreement, please refer to the company's latest news release. It should be noted there is currently no domestic U.S. production of natural graphite which is designated as a critical mineral, with applications in the defense industries along with high-tech, energy storage and industrial applications. Benchmark Intelligence forecasts natural flake graphite to be in a supply deficit starting 2025. The company, through a series of wholly owned subsidiaries, owns 100% of the Santa Cruz graphite project. Santa Cruz has at-surface mineralization in friable materials and successful large-scale pilot plant testing has been completed. Located in Brazil, South Star's Santa Cruz Graphite Project is the first of a series of industrial and battery metals projects that will be put into production. Brazil is the second largest graphite-producing region in the world, with more than 80 years of continuous mining. 
With excellent infrastructure and logistics, South Star is moving towards Phase 1 production planned for quarter 4, 2022, pending financing. South Star has joined the Critical Materials Institute as an affiliate member. The shares are currently trading at 22 and a half cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, southstarbatterymetals.com. Investor relations is handled by Kathy Hume, CEO of CHF Capital Markets, who can be reached at 416-868-1079, extension 251, or by email at kathy at I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media.